What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to quickly just talk about, uh, please give us the goddamn release dates for Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Uh, you know, today is the big day. I'm recording this yesterday. Uh, you know, we'll be uh, on the main channel throughout the day. I'll be tweeting it, uh, you know, live tweeting it, I guess, on Twitter, so make sure you guys are following me there. But as soon as, you know, the stuff happens for Gotham Knights, for Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, there'll be videos immediately um, on the main channel, starting with Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights, uh, I guess, takes priority. And I'm just praying, above all else, I just want to, you know, kind of send that last little signal, the last little beacon of light into the sky, kind of like Batman in a way, even though, even though he's dead in Gotham Knights. We know that. They've said it about a thousand times. I want the release dates. I think it makes sense. I think it's fair. And, you know, I was just kind of sitting here, you know, rocking back and forth and thinking, we really do... And this is going to sound odd to some. Some people don't like it when gamers or fans kind of get what they want, even though that's kind of the entire point. We kind of deserve a release date. And now, again, there's there's your, uh, your, your red alarm. The gaming journalists, like, their brains just blew up if they ever heard that, right? But, no, I mean, look, not necessarily for Suicide Squad. As I've said, I really I don't think we get the release date today for Suicide Squad. I don't. I uh, The best I'm hoping for is a window. You know, them saying 2023 or them saying fall 2022. That's, like, in my opinion, or, or a month, I guess, like November 2022. Like, if they did any of those three things, I would not be shocked and I wouldn't be mad. If they don't say anything, like, if they just show it, they don't even say the year. Again, as we've talked about before, kind of like God of War Ragnarok, which really made no sense to me. Because, like, we know it's coming out next year probably like october november although the recent signs suggest it could even be somewhere in like the march april may period like you know but at the same time they showed the gameplay trailer at that playstation showcase and they didn't even give the year at the end like nothing they gave nothing and that was disappointing and uh you know so for suicide squad it's not as big of a deal gotham knights i think it's the bigger deal that's where i think the deserving thing comes in and again people are going to have their issue with with people with i guess me saying like fans deserve it because again obviously fans don't deserve anything and we're just servants to the machine that is the gaming industry again that's what some people would like you to believe but i mean come on come on we've been through enough with gotham knights we're all here we're all ready. We want it. <laughs> you know, we, we all want it. We have bad things to say about it. Like, we have worrisome things. But that doesn't mean we're just anti-Gotham Knights or we're, you know, we're, we're just picking on it to pick on it. We're fans, and we want the game to be as good as possible. And, uh, and again, that's also when people are going to say, you know, don't rush them. They can release it whenever they want. Yeah, I'm not saying the opposite of that. I'm, <laughs> I, I agree with that, you know, that statement. Ultimately, take your time. Do not come out with a rush product. That's that's just obvious things that I've said before that I just assume people know, but I guess some people don't. And uh, but at the same time, I think you could give a release date. I mean, come on, we the game was supposed. To, I think here's the thing. Here's why we deserve it the most because it was supposed to come out this year, this past year. In fact, in a dark, dark place, if you want to go there, think for a second that in an alternate universe without the delay, we would have already played Gotham Knights by now. Like it most likely would, you know, maybe not a hundred percent, but I think actually a hundred percent because I think it was supposed to come out first half of this year and Hogwarts Legacy was supposed to come out around now. And then, you know, with, because of the delays, obviously that's been pushed probably a full year. So I do think Gotham Knights comes out in the first half of the year. That's also why I think, again, in, ter in terms of entitlement, quote unquote, I think we're more entitled to the release date because it's like, well... We, the game probably comes out within the first six months of the year, and six months is probably going too far. Like, if the game came out in June, that'd be actually kind of shocking, because I think it comes out before June. So, like, you know you're going to get it within the next, let's say, six, seven months, okay? We know it was supposed to come out this past year. We've been waiting very patiently, all things considered, and uh, just, give us, <laughs> just give us the release date, that's all. And you know what? Uh, it's tough because I don't want a release date just for them to push it. At the same time, I hold the stance that if they need to push it, you know, delay. I've even said uh, as as soon as or as recently as like Monday, this past Monday, I'm okay if Battlefield delays itself. That game comes out next month, and I'm very excited for that game. But I would not mind at all if that game delayed itself, and it already has. You know, it's been delayed, and uh, and it has a release date. So, you know, if they do it for Gotham Knights, sure, it's disappointing. But again, if Cyberpunk, and I don't like bagging on Cyberpunk, so really any game. If any game has ever taught us anything, it's that just get a good product. You know what I mean? If you need to delay it one, two, three, four times, 
even from a specific release date, yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, it does kind of come to, well, maybe you shouldn't say anything until you are ready. And, you know, granted, that could go against my overall argument, but I, I would agree with that. You know what I mean? Don't, uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and wishing for that sweet spot that they feel confident about their product, that they feel confident about when their product can release. You know what I mean? When they come out there and if they say, you know, March 23rd, and I don't know what day that is, but let's just say it, right? If they say that, I want them to have confidence that the game's going to do it. You know what I mean? Because ultimately, I don't want it to get delayed past the date that they say, but also, you know, if they have to, they have to. But I just want that confidence that, you know, they, they think that they can nail the date that they say. And, and hopefully, they feel that confidence right now in the way that they can they can show the release date. But I, I really think it's time. I think we're not going to, I know other people have said it too, I only we're going to get another DC fandom for Gotham Knights. You know what I mean? This is it. This should be it, unless the game comes out. Well, and DC Phantoms moved, right? Last year was in August. Now it's in October. So so next year's DC Phantom will be somewhere in that range. I guess if it came out next November, that would, you know, I guess you'd have one more DC Phantom. But for the most part, this is probably it. And so I, I do think, you know, we're at that release date ter territory. So, again, a couple hours. Uh, I don't even know when this video goes up. But, obviously, uh, 11 o'clock my time, 10 o'clock Pacific time is when DC Phantom starts. I'll be watching it. I'll be tweeting about it. Uh, and then when the Gotham Knights get shown, I assume it'll get shown first. I'll do a video, and we'll just go from there. Okay, so there'll be videos on the main channel today, tomorrow, probably Monday, on the two big games. Uh, and then this channel is, again, more just kind of general news, general my thoughts. So we'll do something kind of different for tomorrow, non-DC related, I think, non-DC Phantom related. And uh, so we'll go from there, okay? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turned on. As I said, I do a brand new video on this channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.